On the morning of June 30th, 1908, a cataclysmic event shook the remote Siberian wilderness. The world had never seen anything like it before. At 7.17 a.m., a blinding light seared the sky above the Podkamanaya Tunguska River. The indigenous Evenki people who called this vast expanse home were going about their daily lives. Little did they know that they were about to witness an event that would change our understanding of the cosmos. A moment later, the sky erupted with a deafening roar. Witnesses described the terrifying spectacle as a second sun, brighter than the one that governed the day. The air crackled with energy, and then a monstrous shock wave ripped through the taiga. The ground trembled violently, knocking people off their feet. Across hundreds of miles, the thunderous sound echoed, windows shattered in remote trading posts. The seismic waves were so powerful that they registered on seismographs across Europe and Asia. The world watched in awe and fear as reports trickled in from the remote reaches of Siberia. The blast flattened over 80 million trees radiating outward from the epicenter in a bizarre butterfly pattern. Reindeer herds were incinerated instantly. For days, the night sky glowed an eerie, luminous orange across Europe and Asia. The scientific community was baffled. What could have caused such an explosion? Expeditions to the remote region proved difficult and dangerous. The vastness and harsh conditions of the Siberian wilderness made travel arduous and communication nearly impossible. Early expeditions expect to find a massive impact crater at the center of the blast zone, but to their astonishment, there was none. Instead, they found a strange scene, millions of trees pointing away from a central point where the devastation peaked. The absence of an impact crater only deepened the mystery. Scientists were left scratching their heads. What kind of cosmic phenomenon could cause such widespread destruction without leaving behind a trace of its origin? The Tunguska event became a tantalizing enigma, captivating imaginations worldwide. Theories about the Tunguska event ran wild. In the early 1900s, scientists from around the world were captivated by the mysterious explosion that flattened over 2,000 square kilometers of Siberian forest. The event, which occurred on June 30th, 1908, left no crater and no definitive evidence of what caused such a massive blast. This led to a flurry of speculation and debate among the scientific community. Was it a meteor, a comet? The initial theories focused on these familiar celestial objects. A meteor, traveling at high speed, could have exploded in the atmosphere, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. Similarly, a comet, composed of ice and rock, could have disintegrated upon entering the Earth's atmosphere, causing a similar explosion. Or something even more bizarre, like a black hole collision or an antimatter explosion. As scientists delved deeper into the mystery, more exotic theories emerged. Some speculated that a small black hole might have passed through the Earth, causing the explosion. Others suggested that a chunk of antimatter could have collided with the Earth, annihilating itself and releasing a massive amount of energy in the process. Scientists debated the possibilities, but no single explanation seemed to fit all the evidence. The lack of a crater, the absence of significant meteorite fragments, and the peculiar effects on the local environment all posed challenges to the conventional theories. The scientific community was divided, with each new hypothesis raising more questions than answers. Some argued that a meteor exploded in the atmosphere before it could hit the ground, explaining the lack of a crater. This airburst theory gained traction, as it accounted for the widespread devastation without leaving a significant impact site. The intense heat and pressure from the explosion could have vaporized the meteor, leaving only tiny fragments scattered across the landscape. Others pointed to the strange glowing skies after the event as evidence of a comet, rich in volatile gases that could have ignited in the atmosphere. Witnesses reported seeing a bright, fiery object streaking across the sky, followed by a series of loud explosions. The glowing skies persisted for several days, suggesting that the explosion had released a significant amount of dust and gas into the upper atmosphere, creating a spectacular light show visible from hundreds of kilometers away. Section six. The enigma deepens. Despite decades of research and countless expeditions, the Tunguska event remains an unsolved mystery. Each new piece of evidence seems to only deepen the puzzle. The event continues to fascinate scientists and conspiracy theorists alike. Recent studies of microscopic particles found in the soil around the blast zone have added to the debate. Some scientists believe these particles could be remnants of a meteorite, while others remain unconvinced. 
the debate over the true nature of the Tunguska event rages on. Section 7 Sarwa Chiki Kakashoko Waidal. Searching for clues. In recent years, scientists have used advanced techniques like ground penetrating radar and magnetic imaging to search for clues beneath the surface of the Tunguska site. They hope to find any remnants of the object that caused the explosion. The search for answers has also led researchers to scour historical records, hoping to find any previously overlooked observations that might shed light on the event. The pursuit of the truth behind the Tunguska event has become a global endeavor. Section 8, A Century of Speculation. This chapter delves into the mysteries and ongoing debates surrounding one of the most intriguing events in modern history. Over a century later, the Tunguska event continues to spark our imaginations. On June 30th, 1908, a massive explosion flattened over 2,000 square kilometers of Siberian forest. The cause still debated. Was it a comet, an asteroid, or something else entirely? It serves as a stark reminder of the immense power of the cosmos. The explosion released energy equivalent to 10 to 15 megatons of TNT, far more powerful than the atomic bombs dropped during World War II. The sheer scale of the event humbles us, reminding us of our vulnerability and the mysteries that still lie hidden within our own solar system. Despite advances in technology and science, we have yet to uncover all the secrets of our celestial neighborhood. The Tunguska event is a puzzle piece in the grand tapestry of cosmic phenomena. The Tunguska event is a testament to the spirit of scientific inquiry. Early 20th century scientists like Leonid Kulik ventured into the Siberian wilderness to investigate, driven by curiosity and a desire to understand. Their efforts laid the groundwork for future research and our insatiable desire to understand the world around us. Modern scientists continue this legacy using advanced tools and methods to study the event. From satellite imagery to computer simulations, each new piece of data brings us closer to the truth. Even without definitive answers, we continue to learn from this enigmatic event. The Tunguska event has inspired countless theories and sparked debates that push the boundaries of our knowledge. It challenges us to think creatively and question the unknown, refining our understanding of the cosmos. Each investigation, each hypothesis, adds a layer to our comprehension of the universe. The Tunguska event is not just a historical curiosity. It's a catalyst for scientific progress and our place within it. As we gaze at the stars, we are reminded of the vastness of space and our small yet significant role within it. The Tunguska event continues to be a source of wonder and a driving force for exploration, urging us to look beyond and seek answers to the mysteries of the universe. Section 9, Tunguska's Enduring Legacy. The Tunguska event has secured its place in history as one of the most significant unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. On the morning of June 30th, 1908, a massive explosion occurred near the Podka Manaya Tunguska River in Siberia, flattening an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 2,150 square kilometers. The explosion is believed to have been caused by the airburst of a small asteroid or comet, yet no impact crater has ever been found continues to inspire awe, wonder, and a healthy dose of fear. The sheer magnitude of the event, coupled with the lack of definitive evidence, has led to numerous theories and speculations. Some believe it was a natural celestial event, while others propose more exotic explanations, such as a mini black hole or even an alien spacecraft. The event serves as a reminder of the power of nature and the fragility of human existence. The devastation caused by the Tunguska explosion is a stark illustration of how vulnerable our planet can be to cosmic events. It also underscores the importance of continued research and preparedness for potential future impacts. The quest to unravel the secrets of the Tunguska event is far from over. Scientists and researchers from various fields continue to study the event using both historical data and modern technology. Expeditions to the Tunguska site have yielded valuable information, but the exact cause of the explosion remains elusive. As technology advances, and our understanding of the universe expands, perhaps one day we will finally solve the riddle of what happened on that fateful morning in the Siberian wilderness. New tools such as satellite imagery, advanced telescopes, and computer simulations offer hope that we may one day uncover the truth. The study of similar events on other planets, like the impact craters on the Moon and Mars, also provides valuable insights. Until then, the Tunguska event will remain a source of endless fascination and speculation. 
It captures the imagination of scientists, historians, and enthusiasts alike, serving as a poignant reminder of the mysteries that still lie beyond our understanding. The legacy of Tunguska endures, not just as a historical event, but as a symbol of the enduring quest for knowledge and the human spirit's unyielding curiosity.